It's about 10 after 5 Central Standard Time, 6 uh, a.m. or so Eastern. Alex Jones here reporting for InfoWars.com on all of the uh, latest breaking news here. If you go up to InfoWars.com, you can click over here to see what the FBI has been telling everybody uh, not to look at. And that is uh, all of the different, what appears to be Navy SEALs and others with big black backpacks right around where the bomb uh, goes off. This is the stuff they don't want you to look at and the uh, different groups of patsies they had for different fallback programs. This is the news and information they do not want you to see. In fact, they say, do not look at anything else but what we say, these guys. Um, and then conveniently, um, this individual they claim has been killed. Uh, and this individual is on the run. And reportedly, they are from a foreign country and have been here one year. We're about to have the news break at Infowars.com. Anonymous actually found out uh, who this foreign student is. The media doesn't even have this yet. The FBI will probably give it to them in a day, and then they'll they'll not give the alternative media the credit, uh, which just shows how they're not even media at all. They just sit there and report and regurgitate uh, whatever the establishment tells them to say. Law enforcement said the suspects have international links and have been in the country legally for about a year. So there you go. And over and over again, we forced them on the investigation to come out with stuff uh, like they released the photos that we released saying they were the suspects yesterday. We have no idea if any of this is true. Hand grenade attacks, bombs, machine gun fights at uh, Mind Control Central, MIT. The whole thing stinks to high heaven. But just remember, they do not want you to go to Infowars.com and look at these photos of the SEALs. That is the last thing that the establishment wants you to do. And you have to ask yourself, uh, why is that the case? What is it they don't want you to look at in these photos? See the Navy SEALs right there? Bomb right over here. They do not want you to look at this. And the backpacks that match uh, the good old boy that's in the crowd. And remember, that, and remember they were saying, oh, it's going to be right-wingers. It's coming out. It's a lone wolf. The White House says, Axelrod says, and then all of it changed. So they may switch now and say it's Saudi or something because no one's going to buy it. Uh, these guys kind of look like Israelis, and I'm not saying Israel's involved in it. We don't have any evidence of that. It's just kind of look Israeli, uh, North African, uh, Spanish Muslims. Uh, I mean, that guy, I don't know. I mean, who knows if these people were even involved? We've been told so many lies. We'll continue to track all of it. All I know is, um, they, they said there was no prior threat in the news, and that's a complete lie because they had security, special forces crawling all over right where the bombs went off. I mean, how could they miss this? Uh, and then uh, they're saying there's no drill, which they were announcing be calm. It's just a drill. You know, that's a lie. And now we have a dead patsy, and the media just sitting there like lap dogs doing whatever the FBI tells them. I mean, it's just not what a free country operates like or acts like. So there you go. MSNBC and the White House will be upset, though. It turns out to be a real group of foreigners that attacked us because they won't get to go after the Tea Party. Um, but bottom line, they're going to have TSA now at checkpoints and military everywhere checking your papers. And this is not what America uh, is all about. Papers, please. In fact, up at Infowars.com, if you type in Papers, please, Infowars.com, you can see German soldiers checking people's IDs and then U.S. soldiers checking people's ideas in Boston. When 400 soldiers and 2,000 police didn't protect you, with a bunch of Navy SEALs hovering like flies over crap right over where the bomb happened. I mean, this is just incredibly suspicious. And again, they're desperate saying, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't look at other photos. So you heard them. Don't look at anything else. And I'm sure the mainstream media will follow orders and will not look at anything else. Uh, the elephant in the room. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. More reports coming.